For today's video, let us answer the set of questions in the difficult round in the Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2018 Division Orals for Grade 9 and we are going to explain in details how to get the answer. On number 1, triangle ABC has a right angle at C. Let D be the foot of the altitude from C to AB. If AC equals 12 and AD equals 8, find the length in units of BD. If we are going to illustrate the given problem, let us have a triangle A, C, and B. So this will be a right angle. And then, let D be the foot of the altitude from C to AB. So this is D. And then let us have AC, that is 12. And then AD that is 8 and we are looking for the length of BD so we are going to represent this one as X so since we have a similarity between a right triangle let us have AC square equals the sum of AD plus BD multiplied by AD since AC that is 12 that we have a square and then we have AD that is 8 plus X multiplied by AD that is 8 so to simplify 12 square that is 144 and then 8 multiplied by 8 that is 64 and then 8 times X that is 8X and let us move 64 to the side of 144 144 minus 64 equals 8x so 144 minus 64 that is 80 equals 8x divide both side by 8 so the value of x is 80 divided by 8 that is 10 units so this will be the measure of bd so this will be our answer on number two Solve for x in the equation, square root of x plus 1 equals square root of x plus 13. So to find the value of x, let us have square root of x plus 1 equals square root of x plus 13. So to eliminate the radical sign, we are going to square both sides of the equation. So we have a square of binomial, square root of x multiplied by itself, that is x. And then, square root of x multiplied by 1 times the constant 2, that is 2, square root of x. And then, 1 multiplied by itself, that is 1. And then, let us cancel this one. So, we have x plus 13. So, let us cancel x and let us move 1 to the side of 13. So, this will be 2, square root of x equals 13 minus 1. So, let us write 2, square root of x. 13 minus 1, that is 12. Divide both sides by 2. So we have square root of x equals 6. And then let us square both sides to find the value of x. So let us cancel. So x is 6 squared, that is 36. So this will be our answer. On number 3, suppose z varies directly as the square of x and inversely as y. If z equals 2 when x equals 1 half and y equals 1 third, find z when x is 3 and y is 4. So let us find first the value of the constant using the given equation that is z equals k and then square of x that is x square and inversely as y. And let us have the first set of given z is 2 and then x that is 1 half and then we have a square then k over y that is 1 third so let us multiply 1 third and 2 2 multiplied by 1 third that is 2 over 3 equals 1 half square that is 1 fourth and then k so to find the value of k let us multiply 4 and 2 that is 8 then copy the denominator so this will be the value of k. 
And we are going to use this one to find the value of z. So let us have z equals k x square over y. Since we are looking for z, let us have the value of k that is 8 over 3 multiplied by x that is 3 square over 4. So let us have 8 over 3, 3 square that is 9 over 4. So we can divide 9 and 3, so that is 3. So we can have 8 times 3 over 4. So we can divide 8 and 4, that is 2. So 2 multiplied by 3, so the value of say that is 6. And this will be our answer. On number 4, fencing materials, that is 300, is to be used to enclose 3 sides of a rectangular lot. What are the dimensions of such lot with the largest possible area? Since we are talking about a rectangle and we are about to enclose 3 sides, it will give us the idea that we are going to use the formula for perimeter of the rectangle. And that is perimeter equals 2 length plus 2 width. Since we are talking about 3 sides, let us have perimeter equals 2 length plus width because we are about to enclose 3 sides of a rectangular lot. Since the perimeter that is 300 equals 2L plus W. So let us express this one in terms of W. So W equals 300 minus 2 length. So this will be the value of W. And then, let us have the formula for area, that is length times width. So we have length multiplied by width. So length, and then the value of width, that is 300 minus 2 length. So let us simplify this one. Length times 300, that is 300 length. And then, length times negative 2 length, that is negative 2 length square. So we can minimize our equation into 2. So this will be 150 length minus L or length square. Since we are talking about largest possible area, in other words, we are talking about the maximum possible area. So whenever we talk about largest possible area or maximum possible area, let us use the formula for age, that is negative B over 2A. So the value of A, that is negative 1, and the value of B, that is 150. So let us have negative 150 divided by 2 times negative 1. So this is negative 150 divided by negative 1 times 2, that is negative 2. So this will be 75. So therefore, one of the dimensions of a rectangle is 75. And to find the other dimension, let us substitute to the given formula. So W equals 300 minus 2 times 75. So therefore, let us have 300, 2 multiplied by 75, that is 150. And 300 minus 150, that is 150. So therefore, the dimensions of the given rectangle is 75 meters and 150 meters. So this will be our answer. On number 5, find the smallest positive value of x which satisfy quantity 3x plus 1 square plus 10x greater than or equal to 3 times the quantity of x plus 1 square plus 2. So to find the smallest positive value of x, let us simplify this one. So we have a square of binomial, 3x multiplied by itself, that is 9x square. And then 3x multiplied by 1 times the constant 2, that is 6x. And then 1 multiplied by itself, that is 1. Then plus 10x greater than or equal to 3 times x plus 1 square, so this is x square 
plus 2x plus 1 plus 2. And then, let us have 9x square. 6x plus 10x is 16x plus 1. Greater than or equal to, let us distribute 3 on this uh, expression. 3 times x square, that is 3x square. 3 times 2x is 6x. And then 3 times 1, that is 3 plus 2. So this is 5. So let us move this one on the other side. We are going to have 9x square minus 3x square plus 16x mi minus 6x plus 1 minus 5 greater than or equal to 0. So let us have 9x square minus 3x square that is 6x square. And 16x minus 6x is 10x. And 1 minus 5 that is negative 4 greater than or equal to 0. So let us simplify our equation by dividing the whole equation by 2. So this is 3x square plus 5x minus 2 greater than or equal to 0. So therefore, let us factor this one. So the factors of 3x square, that is 3x and x. And what are the factors or what are the numbers that we can multiply to negative 2 considering the value of a that is 3 with the sum of 5? And that is positive 2, negative 1. 3x times 2, that is 6x, negative 1 times x, and then if you add, you can get 5x. Then greater than or equal to 0. So let us have 3x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. And then on the other side, x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. So if you are going to move this one, this is positive, and if you are going to move... 2 on the other side, this is negative. So therefore, all we have to do is to simplify this one. That is 3x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. And then move. So 3x greater than or equal to 1. Divide both sides by 3. So x is greater than or equal to 1 third. Since we are looking for the smallest positive value, so the smallest positive value is 1 third. And this will be our answer. On number 6, the shortest side of two similar triangles are 2 and 5 centimeters. If the perimeter of the bigger triangle is 20 centimeters, find the perimeter of the smaller one. So to answer this question, let us illustrate the given. If you are going to have two similar triangles, let us have the first triangle and the second triangle. So two similar triangle with the sides of 2 and 5. And the perimeter of the bigger is 20 centimeter. We are looking for the perimeter of the smaller. Since 2 is corresponding to 5, and we represent the smaller perimeter as x, that is corresponding to 20. So we can cancel 5 and 20 because they are divisible by 5. So 5 becomes 1 and 20 becomes 4. So we have now 2 over x equals 1 fourth. 1 times x is x and 2 times 4 is 8 centimeters. So this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.